And we now talk to Senator Coco Pimentel. Good morning, and thank you for taking our call, Senator. Uh, good morning to all. Good morning, sir. Sir, how are you now after the change in Senate leadership yesterday? Speak to Labor Secretary Bellio the third. Good morning, Secretary, and thank you for taking our call. Sir, after the partial lifting of the ban, when are we going to see the total lifting of the deployment ban to Kuwait? Yeah. And I'm, I'm curious because, you know, there's a lot of Filipinos, teens, you know, you're 17 mm -hmm. years old, and I'm sure a lot of kids out there also who dabble with their guitar, yeah. their piano, and, and try to write music. How do you get your song on Spotify? It is set to visit Benham Rise today. This is to commemorate the renaming of the undersea plateau to Philippine Rise. Joining the president are 50 Filipino scientists who will do research in the undersea region. And, of course, the much-anticipated wedding yeah. of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle is coming up this weekend. People have been talking about it. What can we expect from this royal wedding? Sol Tablante from Dartmouth College. Good morning and welcome to New Day. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Doing very well. It's my 46th day of travel out of 50, so I'm still smiling, so it's a good day. Uh, that's a really nice smile you got there. <laughs> well, talk to the new tourism secretary. Good morning, Secretary Berna Puya. Thank you for taking our call. Hi, hi, Claire. Uh, yeah, I'm still an undersecretary now, not yet a secretary. Well, soon to be secretary. I know, I know, I know. I'm not used to it because I've been um, undersecretary of the Department of Agriculture for I, 12 years. For 12 years, yeah. I know. So what was years. your reaction uh, um, on your appointment? Good morning, Claire. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Uh, thanks for coming in this morning. Nice to have you. You know, it's summer for some kids here in the Philippines. Right. And I'm sure some families are uh, wanting to go to the U.S. for a visit. Some people get scammed. Yes, they right? do, unfortunately. They do, unfortunately. Yeah. And guideline for the Barakay closure. What is the status of this ASEC? Uh, you know, with nine days before the closure, where are we right now in crafting the guidelines? Well, um, um, how did this influence you? You know, your father being uh, an artist and now you entering the world of art. You know, my dad would always invite Ms. Ali, are there leads as to the identity of the passenger who forcibly opened an MRT train door? Uh, we are yet to receive... Transport Department says that charges will be filed against people who disrupt operations at the MRT, such as this incident. Now, how does the MRT management plan to implement Morning, this? Sir. Now, sir, on Boracay's closure, how many workers will be affected? At uh, anong home plano ninyo sa mga workers? Uh, ililipat ba sila? Uh, uh, yung Interpol, supposedly, yung sila yung nagsabi na they were able to capture um, the Lebanese and the Syrian national in Syria? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we did not get any reports. We, did, we didn't get any reports. Of course, you're Philam, Filipino-American, right? So your right. mom is Filipino? Yeah, she grew up in Manila, and then my dad is from the U.S. Or I go crazy. Well, for your Filipino fans also who are wondering, I mean, I'm sure they're going to really be looking out for season two of Santa Clarita Diet, but is, are there any other future projects that you guys are working on that they should watch out for, movies, films? I need a job. <laughs> I don't want to do anything with this right now. Anti-terror drill. It's called Operation Southern Storm. Yeah. Is this the first ever kind of drill ever held in, in the Philippines with the PNP? Yeah. Officials in the country's capital can learn a thing or two from their provincial counterparts amid Mount Mayon's unrest. Our CN Arcangel reports from Legazpi City in Albay. CN, tell us about this suggestion. Like you said, you know, with um, President Trump and one of the hot topics now a days is um, immigration. And how can Filipinos here in the Philippines or even abroad, um, how can they relate to this or how is this film relevant to them? I think it's relevant to them because it's relevant to both of us. You're back in the newsroom. No increase in your SSS contribution just yet, if at all. Presidential spokesperson. Good morning. Now, you know, looking at the trailer and um, the title of the movie as well, looks like we're going to be seeing a lot of surfing, a lot of beach, oh, yeah. and um, maybe even a love triangle somewhere right, in there. Tell right, us yeah. more about the movie. The well, second yeah. day of stricter enforcement is going with our CNR Kanghel. She reports to us live from EDSA Reliance.
Falls. It's one of the best places in the country to view last night's super blue blood moon. And it's an extra rare event this time because it happened during Mayon Volcano's unrest. In years, stocks went into free fall on Monday in the United States, and the Dow plunged almost 1,600 points or 4.6 percent. Yeah. 78 years old. I hope you don't mind. I just um, broadcasted no, your age. Ladies and gentlemen, she made a big mistake. <laughs> a big mistake. Yeah, but still beautiful and <laughs> still you, very active you. in doing yes, concerts yes. and with work. How do you manage? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, what prompted President Duterte to create an anti-corruption commission? Uh, you may recall that Malakas ang mga nagiging pagulan sa Metro Manila at mga um, nearby provinces. Ano anong paghahanda ang ginagawa ng NDRRMC para at least ang um, maging least ang effect nito sa mga kababayan natin? Now, William, today is the 100th birth anniversary of uh, former President Ferdinand Marcos. Can you tell us what Diary of a Dictator is all about? The pops now, like in this generation specifically. This generation? Yes, yeah. What do they remember or what really stands out for them when they hear Marcos and uh, the Marcos era? Because you know? this is the first um, avian flu outbreak in, in the Philippines and we're trying to understand it even more. We're talking about affected fowls in San Luis, Pampanga. But for people who don't really understand, what exactly are fowls? What type of birds are the radius. Right. Within yes. the seven kilometer radius, that's a lot of farmers yeah. that, that will be affected. And some of them are saying na parang bakit naman calling ka agad um, um, pwede, pwede bang i-check muna i-monitor muna yung mga manok before ano I, I, what, what can you say about that because yung livelihood ng mga ng mga farmers syempre mawawala lahat ng um, their poultry and their sales yes so the Philippine Red Cross will have a benefit concert entitled Rebuilding Marawi. Life in Marawi that's right what is yeah. the main objective well, of the main this objective concert? here is really to the country woke up to a rainy morning today and the rains caused flooding in some parts of Metro Manila. Let's get the latest from Ivy Saunar. Ivy, how's the flood situation? Weather Bureau are? Pagasa says it is monitoring a low-pressure area outside the country. What specifically in the entire speech do you think really stood out um, to the people? Now, you know, after the speech, the president went out to speak with the protesters. Uh, what do you make of this gesture? Well, that was a grand gesture. Uh, it now, it's been a year under the Duterte administration. Yeah. What is your assessment on how foreign investments have been so far in the Philippines? Well, I you think mentioned some of those conditions that could be hampering some investors to come in and invest. But what about other conditions that could prevent greater interest in or affecting foreign investments here in the Philippines? Well, now, at the start of his term, the president had said that he will have an independent foreign policy. So how would you assess this policy and how it played out within the last year? Oh, on Senator, paper you said be. that the president is asking Congress to extend martial law in Mindanao for 60 more days. Can you tell us more about this? Um, yes, uh, he... Um, more the magnitude 6.5 quake that hit Leyte and nearby areas. We now speak to Leyte Governor Dominic Petilia. Good morning, Gov. Gov, we've heard reports of over or, or hundreds of aftershocks since the earthquake struck yesterday. Kamusta naman kayo dyan sa Leyte? Mayor Richard Gomez, good morning. Thanks for taking our call, Mayor. Yes, uh, good morning. We've heard reports of um, over 30 aftershocks since the earthquake struck yesterday. How are you all coping? This is a rare case because it's an incident within an incident That's where right. you have an armed suspect roaming around plus a fire going on. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about this. Is this an isolated incident? Has it ever happened before? Yeah, well, so you, you mentioned routes, and one of the takeaways from this ASEAN summit is the deal that President Duterte made with the Indonesian president precedent about um, exactly. opening trade routes uh, right. between the two countries. Um, how do you think will that affect, you know, Philippines? We just heard the president has just announced severing ties with the U.S. How do you think the government will go about this? Well, uh, you and, know, um, we have defense agreements, economic deals, and, you know, we also receive humanitarian aid from the U.S. So what do we stand to lose or gain from comments like this by the president? 
Now, this is not the first time the president hinted on cutting ties with the United States. He had also some harsh words we've heard um, against U.S. officials and even President Barack Obama. Sure. How, how do you think does this have an impact on Philippine-U.S. relations or even Filipinos living Abroad. Thanks for being here. You know, threats of terrorism and extremism has been so evident within the last year, um, especially um, in the South. Um, we've seen the presence of ISIS and the rebellion in Marawi. Um, you know, how does this av affect our global presence? What happened in China has been firm on its stance that it will not accept the recent arbitration tribunal ruling favoring the Philippines. How will this affect security within the concerned countries? Where JC Gotinga is here with us to talk about his experience. Just a few days ago, he tried to go to Scarborough Shoal with some fishermen in Masinloc, Zambales. Hi, JC. Good morning. Thanks Hello, for Claire. joining Good us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. JC, what was it like traveling to the Scarborough Shoal? How long did it take you to get there? It was now, a 15 hour. Earth Hour, you said it's been ongoing for 10, 11 years. Yes. So, what have been the results so far? Or, you know, how has it progressed since the beginning? Uh, good you morning know? and welcome to New Day. Thank you. Good morning. And may the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you, too. I <laughs> know today is a big day for Europe. The prospect of a British exit or Brexit is sending jitters throughout Europe mm -hmm. and even spreading concern in world markets. Now, how big is Brexit in terms of a global impact? The United States is the world's leader of resettling refugees since the World War II. It may not, no longer be the case after Trump's new order. So how will this impact um, the, what we know now as the biggest refugee crisis that the world is facing? What we hear you know, James, we've been seeing a lot of disasters lately, especially this one in Mindanao, the earthquakes consecutively, one after the other. Can you tell us what kind of psychological trauma um, are these people experiencing? Your journey in the, in the industry, would you say that you sort of changed or grown in a way, or are you still the same James Arthur you were several years ago? Well, let me teach you some. Okay. It's Mahal, Mahal. Mahal. Kita. Mahal Kita. Do you want to look at the camera yeah, and say uh, that? Mahal Kita, Philippines. Yes. Right. Yay. For a while now, so thinking more, what are the biggest challenges women face nowadays when it comes to gender equality? Um, representation information being spread online. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you clarify some of them for us? Number one, okay. it is, is it airborne? Most of the... There's different types of masks mm -hmm. um, that are out in the market. Meron bang specific mask na, na mas effective okay. kesa dun sa iba? It's day one of the so-called community quarantine. What it means, land, air, sea travel in and out of Metro Manila is now suspended. There are. Let's speak to Interior Secretary Eduardo Año. Good evening, Secretary Año, and thank you for taking our call. Hello, Claire. Good evening. Good Today is the start of the community quarantine. What is your assessment so far? Well, uh... Okay, yung the general impression seems to be na people have been cooperative naman ho, pero were there any instances of um, parang refusal to cooperate? Breaking news, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake rocks Davao del Sur this afternoon. We now speak with FIVOX Director Renato Solidu. Magandang gabi po. Sir, uh, ilang aftershocks na po ang narecord nyo sa ngayon? RC eyewitness ka, no? nakita mo yung pangyayari. Pakikwento naman sa amin kung anong nakita nyo. Are you hopeful about mm -hmm. um, how we are moving forward and um, in facing our relationship with China? I'm right. hopeful. And you were there at the opening ceremony of the SEA Games and you got to perform, right? What, what was that like for you? I mean, it's a huge... Man, I can't, it's, it's, I can't describe the, uh, the feeling. Earlier, I spoke to Undersecretary Renato Solidum of FIVOX and here is a portion of that interview. Explain to us uh, what's happening right now in Taal. Well, back when... Um, so one and so forth. Okay. Lastly, yung sa evacuation centers na nasa mga eskwelahan, uh, paano po ang klase bukas? Probably, you know, for aspiring Filipinos who want to go the same direction as you did in the art of, and profession of filmmaking and animation, what advice right. can you give them? 
I say keep moving forward, keep drawing. What about this, sir? The president also said that he doesn't mind if police officials are earning extra money from video carrera operations. Uh, hindi ba illegal ho ito, sir? Yes, definitely. Okay, uh, and joining us now is actress Roxanne Barcelo and director GB San Pedro to talk about the movie. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Okay, so, so tell us uh, what the movie is about and um, is it really about breaking barriers? Yeah. <laughs> the aquatics competition and the country's athletes are in for a busy night as they dive into action and hopefully bring six gold medals home. Christine Jacobs and Dejas, a Sea Games gold medal. Welcome to the newsroom on CNN Philippines. In the news, Typhoon Hagibis leaves a trail of destruction in Japan. At least 15 people are dead, while more than 100 people are injured. These gorgeous pieces we're about to show you honors pre-colonial heritage through Filipino jewelry. Not only are they beautifully designed and intricately made, but every time you buy, you support Filipino artisans. Hihintay ng lahat. So you previously told us that there are three unlucky signs. Yes. Which are they? And paano sila naging challenging this year? Is it although... A Senate panel will look into the alleged franchise violations of ABS-CBN tomorrow. 32 Filipino evacuees are now under quarantine here in the country. First, let's talk about the hits and misses. What are President Duterte's uh, promises in his 2018 sauna that you think um, he was able to live up to? And then maybe some of those that seem to have been swept under here, the rug. Hans, tell us about indoor cycling. What is it about? And how can it help us lose those pounds? Okay, so indoor cycling. <laughs> the World Health Organization raises its highest alert against the coronavirus outbreak. Productions Matilda the Musical opens in Manila for the very first time this weekend. Japan's the residents are stocking up on food and water to prepare for the strongest typhoon in 60 years. Hi, magandang hapon, Claire. Hi, Andre. Kamusta na dyan? Anong situation and uh, the preparations that you guys are doing for, for the storm? 